Hi guys, welcome to Your Excel Nerd. Today I'm going to show you how to pull a list of unique IDs from a list of duplicates. So as you can see we have a list of names in column B. Uh, we have Jason, Jason, Matt, Matt, Jonathan, Alex, Joseph. And what we want to do is create formulas that can find those first uniques and place them over here. So uh, if I copy the name Matt right here and let's say I go all the way up to Jason and paste it, you'll notice that we only have two IDs that show up because there's only two unique IDs in here. However, if I type in Alex, you'll see Alex pop up in this F4 cell. Jonathan and you get the drift. So the first thing we need to do is to create our index formula. So what the index formula does is it creates a lookup value for our VLOOKUP to find. So I'm going to show you how to do that. We're going to go equals I tab for if. Our logical task is going to be count if cells B1 through B1. Our criteria is B2. So what we're doing is we're going to look in the cells prior to our, our adjacent cell, which is B2, for duplicate values. It's going to take that B1 and I'm going to make that an absolute reference. I'm going to go F4. Um, you'll notice that cells with dollar signs are called absolute references, or some people call them permanent references. Uh, it just means that the cell is locked, and so if you drag it down that cell will stay in the same position, whereas this cell, which is a relative reference, will grow. And so what that does is the count if will be able to find all of the values that are exist before as we drag it down. So we're going to count if we find a value that is equal to our B2 value, and if we find one, so if it's greater than zero, so count if returns a number, so if that value is greater than zero, we're going to put null. We, it, if it finds a value that's the same as the value next to it, it means it is not unique. So if our value is false, we're going to go max cells A1 through A1, and we're going to go plus one. And then I'm going to make this A1 permanent. So as I drag it down, it's going to find the largest number. And then as soon as it finds it, we're going to add one to it. So it'll be the new largest number. And so what that does is it creates a unique identifier for each unique value found. I'm going to press Enter. I'm going to drag it down by clicking this bottom right-hand corner. And it's going to give me this list of this index of unique IDs. Okay, so the next step is to use a VLOOKUP. So I'm going to go ahead and highlight this, get rid of it. So we're going to go equals VLOOKUP VL tab. The lookup value is going to be rows F2 through F2. So Rather than using uh, a hard-coded number or a number to the left of this cell, we're going to use rows, which means an expanding row. So as I drag this formula down, with this cell locked and this cell rel uh, relative, it's going to grow by 1. So it's first going to look up the value 1. I drag it to the next cell, it's going to look up the value 2. I drag it to the next cell, it's going to look up the value 3, and so on and so forth. So our, that's our lookup value, our table array it's going to be A2 through B28. I'm going to press F4 and make and make this permanent. Our column index number. So this means uh, how many columns am I looking over? The answer is two because I start in column A, which is column one, and I go to column B, which is one over. So one plus one is two and our range lookup. Is it true or false? Well, in this case, because we're looking for the exact number, not an approximate match, we're going to say false. 
close that off, hit enter, and it's going to give me JSON as our first one. And grab the bottom right and double click, it'll drag it down, and it'll give me all of the unique values. So if VLOOKUP can't find something, it gives you this NA error, which um, it just means not available. So what we can do is take this cell, I'm going to highlight it in here, I'm going to go IFE tab if error my value uh, the value is this VLOOKUP but my value if error is going to be double quotation or null. And close that off, hit enter highlight that cell, take the bottom right hand side, double click and we have a list of unique identifiers. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, in the next video I'm going to show you how to do this in one formula and that's going to be in my array function playlist whereas this is, is going to be in my quick tips and tricks playlist. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, let me know if you want me to explain anything or if you would like me to address some Excel topic.